minus 6 as our convergence threshold, then you can see that, that ILU1 would converge in about 40 iterations, a little less than that. Um, SOR, uh, again, fairly simple. One uh, uh, converges you know, faster, about 20 odd iterations. In contrast, if you apply algebraic multigrid, three level of algebraic multigrid combined with ILU as a smoother here, then we can see that the, the problem converges in about six iterations. So clearly, uh, choice of preconditioner here is very, is very, very important. Um, preconditioners that are suited to GPU, so that express themselves inherently in a parallel way, are not necessarily the best preconditions mathematically. That's the problem here. So example, Jacobi, which is a very, very parallel preconditioner, it's not a good preconditioner. So even though it's parallel and, and fast, it's not very useful. Uh, contrary, preconditioners that appear to be much better in practice, like ILU, for example, uh, ASOR, are serial in nature. And that poses a challenge how to actually make them effective here. So there's a design trade-off that needs to be taken into account, trading off preconditioner performance uh, with iteration count and figuring out in the end what is going to produce the fastest solution. So uh, the preconditions that we have implemented on GPU range from very simple like Jacobi and of course diagonal scaling and things like that. But uh, most of the preconditions that we ended up doing that have uh, commercial and practical value are hybrid CPU GPU preconditioners. Uh, for example, our uh, algebraic multigrid uh, utilizes coarse solves level on CPU. Um, however, smoothers, prolongators, restriction operators, all those things are done on GPU. That required a little bit of research and, and devising some uh, new uh, smoother types. And we are using Block Jacobi and, and Jacobi and, and SOR smoother expresses iterative Krilov uh, space methods. And that allows us to actually run those things uh, in parallel. Second class uh, that, we've, uh, that we've implemented, which is quite good in terms of uh, parallelism, internal parallelism, because we can express them as vector ma matrix multipliers, is sparse approximate inverse class of preconditioners. And those uh, tend to be very good for some problems. And finally, uh, ILU uh, preconditioners, uh, again, we have them as uh, hybrid formulation on CPU and GPU. And those uh, preconditions are mixed level in our case. Sometimes we use different preconditions on diagonal blocks and different preconditions inside the solver itself, inside the rest of the, of the matrix. So uh, let's have a look at performance, how those things uh, run. Um, so if we take just one uh, card, uh, 1060 in this case, uh, and if we compare it to two processors, um, four cores at this time, we didn't do this with Nahelem yet. Uh, we were seeing uh, 11 times speed up over MKL. The size of matrices that we looked at varied from 100,000 unknowns to 1 million unknowns. And as you would expect, performance of those uh, is, is maximized when your memory on the graphics cards is more or less full. Uh, AMG preconditioners, uh, um, again with uh, sparse accelerators, uh, were five times faster uh, compared to MK MKL-based uh, uh, GMRS, and again, uh, the same sort of size of unknowns. And the largest problems we've ran on one card so far had uh, 20, and 20 million unknowns in single precision and 10 million in double precision. So summarizing this uh, sort of GMRS itself performance, you can count on about 11 times uh, in single precision and five times in double precision. And hopefully, this is going to uh, improve uh, with the release of the new NVIDIA hardware quite a bit. And the dent that has been done uh, with the improved speed from Intel will be, will be overcome. So uh, let's have a look at a real uh, world case study here. This is reservoir modeling. So this is oil and gas problem, um, where the problem is, is uh, Fairly sophisticated uh, nonlinear problem with uh, nonlinear time stepping here. Um, the, uh, there is a number of linear problems that need to be solved at every time step uh, because, as I mentioned, the problem is nonlinear. Uh, those simulations uh, with this particular code then can take from days to months, in fact, so acceleration is very, very important. Uh, a good problem here for us was that single precision was typically enough. 
uh, to actually get to the solution. If we couldn't get in single precision, then we would apply mixed precision algorithms to maintain the high speed. So uh, let's have a look at three uh, examples here. Um, the software performance this time is measured on the latest uh, Intel Nehalem processor. So that's the best you can get. Uh, and that's compared to a generation old uh, GPU hardware. So we're talking about 1060 again. So those things will be quite a bit different when you actually uh, finally get your hands on, on the newer GPU. So uh, examples range from 300,000 unknowns more or less to 1 million unknowns. And the software performance that utilizes all cores, and that's also our software, uh, but it's exactly the same speed up as or speed as commercial software. It's about 0.2 seconds, 0.25 seconds for uh, 300,000 unknowns and about one, two seconds, sorry, for one million unknowns. The end-to-end -end run uh, on GPU, including, uh, including all uh, the preconditional run, provides a speed up ranging between two and three on the current hardware, maybe at the end of the talk. So uh, what is the commercial use of this technology? Um, the uh, this matrix technology that we have uh, developed is now used in EDA and electromagnetics. Uh, oil and gas, uh, in, as an example that I've shown before, imaging and medical imaging in particular, mechanical and fluid flow dynamics. These are the areas of, of uh, uh, industry that work with us. We are, uh, we've been debating for a long time if there is a possibility of releasing some sort of SDK. And we had a lot of doubts because those problems are so specific and so, so require so much tuning to a particular matrix uh, type that, that we're a bit hesitant. But we'll, we'll release uh, an SDK in a couple of months and people will be able to play with this and, and see how that works. We're looking at actually for uh, beta uh, users that would uh, want to play with the technology. Um, so in conclusions, the uh, performance bottlenecks today are really dominated by hardware performance and lack as of today, but hopefully not as, not as of tomorrow of double precision. And then very, very strong algorithmic limitations that are really, really about preconditioners. So precondition is the name of the game here. And we clearly believe that innovation in those two areas will move this technology ways into the future and that this technology is going to be prevalent in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>